Today, in chemical engineering, we're going to be using material balances to solve a recycle problem. The problem we're going to be looking at is this one. Uh, if you haven't looked, seen it yet, take some time to look at it and determine uh, the right course of action. But the main concepts are there's two components, K and W. They flow in through an evaporator where only water is drawn off, which is W. It then goes to a crystallizer where some of that is recycled back to before the evaporator, and the other half of that comes out as either just pure K, K, which is cake, or a mixture of water and cake together. There's also additional information that M4, M4 is 95% filter cake, so the sum of M4 and M5 is 95% um, K. So the question asks to find the seven unknowns. So let's look right into it. I'm going to leave this side up so you can see the um, problem we're working on and the, the different control volumes that we draw. So we know there's seven unknowns and there's one additional information. So that means we're going to have six that we need to find with material balances. Uh, and each one, since there's two components, you have two material balances for each control volume you can make. So you need at least three control volumes. Right now I've drawn four here. There's more possible control volumes, uh, but these are just four that I've selected. So let's look at each one of these ones and do a degree of freedom analysis. So if you look at CV4, which is our whole system, so that's this purple line, uh, we can see stream, we have four, three unknowns that go in, which if you look here, it's M2 that goes out. We don't know about that. M4, we don't know, and M5, we don't know. But we know everything about uh, stream zero, which is coming in. We have two material balances, which I said before. Uh, we can do it on K and the total material, or we could do one on W. Uh, in addition, we have one, that one additional information, and we can use it in this case because it's about stream four and stream five, which are two of the components that are crossing the boundary. So if we look at that, we have zero degrees of freedom, and we get to solve this one sh straight up right away. But instead of doing this, we'll look at the other uh, control volumes to see if we can solve those either. If we look at control volume one, which is the mixing point, CV1, the red one here, uh, we have three unknowns, which would be M1 and X1K, and then we also have M.6, which is unknown, so we don't know the mass of stream six coming in. Um, and we only have two material balances, so we have one degree of freedom, which means we can't solve it. If we look at control volume two, the evaporator, we have four unknowns. You can see these four, which my mouse is going over. Um, but we only have two material balances again, so we can't solve it. And then the crystallizer filter, which is the brown one, uh, we have four unknowns again, which is M3, M4, M5, and M6 coming out of the bottom here. Um, we have two ma uh, material balances and that one additional information if we used it then, but we'd still have one degree of freedom. So let's start with the whole system, the purple one, because we know that the, the degree of freedom analysis shows that we could solve it. So if you look at the, a total balance, we can get that all that the sum, all the streams that come in is just M0. And the ones that leave are M5, M4, and M2. Those are all the ones that leave the purple boundary line. We can then look at the K balance. And if you look at K, we have the percentage of K for each one of those same streams we talked about before. So stream 0 times the fraction of, zero of uh, stream 0, that's K. Uh, M2 is all water, so none of it's K, so that actually gets counted out conveniently. M4, we know the fraction that is cake or K, which is one. And then M5, uh, we also know the fraction that is K, but we don't know the value of M5. And if you look, I've circled all the unknowns. And for the additional information, 95% of what, of the total of M4 and M5 is gonna be, um, is M4. So 95% of what comes out of the crystallizer or filter, crystallizer is gonna be um, filter cake, which is M4. So if you look at this, we have three equations, three unknowns. We can solve them. Uh, you can put them in a solving software, or if you could just um, you know, replace one and then plug it in, like doing these two 
number two and number three together would solve it um, for M4 and M5, and then plug those into uh, the total balance. So we can get M2, which is equal to 290, 2,950 kilograms per hour, M4, which is equal to 1,470 kilograms per hour, and M5, which is equal to 77.5 kilograms per hour. So the question is now what we do. We can now reevaluate the degrees of freedom and see which control volume we want to attack next. So if we look at control volume one, which is the red one over here, we haven't solved for any of these variables, so um, the degree of freedom is the same. We still can't solve it. It still has one degree of freedom. If we look at CV2, the evaporator, um, again, we have three. Now we have one less unknown uh, because we've solved for M2, but we still don't know M1, X1, K, or M3. So, and we still only have two material bounces. So that's one degree of freedom. We, we can't solve that either. But if we look at the uh, control volume three, we have two unknowns, which is M3 coming in and M6 coming out because we've already solved for M4 and M5. Um, and we have two material balances, but we don't have that additional information anymore because we, we've already used it. We've already used it in the previous uh, balance. So you can't reuse it. But even still, we have zero degrees of freedom, and we can now solve for this control volume. So we'll do the total balance and uh, a W balance because we can get to cross out one of the components, uh, and it just makes the math a little bit easier. So all the all coming all the mass coming into the crystallizer is just from M3, and then coming out is M6, M4, and M5. All the W coming in from the crystallizer is M3 times X3 W, and then all the W coming out is M6, X6, W. Uh, there's no W in stream 4, so we can cross that out. And then stream 5 is M5, X5, W. So we have two unknowns. We can solve this simultaneously. Um, you can plug, actually, M3 directly into here in the W bounce, and um, then solve for M6, and then solve for M3 after that. So we can get that M3 is equal to 7,200 kilograms per hour, and M6 is equal to 5,650 kilograms per hour. But we still need to find M1 dot and X1K. So we can use CV1 mixing point, so this red one, to solve for them, because if you look, M1 and X1K cross that line, and we'll have two material balances, and therefore we'll be able to solve it. And we already know M M6, we just found that. Uh, if we do the total balance, we have M0 coming in, M6 coming in, and then out is M1. We can solve that straight up for M1, which is 10,150 kilograms per hour. We can do the same thing for K balance. Uh, the K coming in from stream 0, K coming in from stream 6, and then the K coming out from stream 1. And that gives us that uh, X1K is 0.3503. So now let's look, I want to look at the problem if it was, if there was no recycle. So if you look now, we have um, stream six just comes straight down and uh, is no longer recycled back to uh, the front of the process. And we still have that same information. You can find that the answers here are um, as follows below here. So 3,033 kilograms per hour for M3. 1,467 M2, 622 M4, M5 is 31, and M6 is 2,380 kilograms per hour. And you can do that following the same procedure we just had, where you uh, write control volumes um, and then solve them in order that is the most convenient. Uh, but the reason of this doing this is we can show that if, stream, if the stream 4, which is this one, the pure filter cake, if that's the valuable, valuable thing in this process that's being sold, with no recycle, you get 622 kilograms per hour, while with the recycle, recycle you get 1,470 kilograms per hour. So it shows you that recycle is very important because you can make double the money uh, with the same process. So instead of throwing out all this um, stream six that you no longer are going to use, you can actually recycle that back into the process and uh, make more of the valuable asset. Uh, that's it for this problem. Please check out my the website chemicalengineeringhq.com. The links for the answers and the problem will be down below. Uh, if you have any comments, please let me know. Thanks.